like fairy tales when you were a little kid? I did. We were a big Disney family. Yeah. Um, we went to Disney a lot. And um, I so got so mad at my mother though for Bambi because it I made oh, me cry. I know. Oh, oh, right. Oh my oh, God. Right. It's really upsetting. I, you know what? <laughs> they kill the mother or the father a lot in fairy tales. I know. Tales. It's really bad. But they do it. And I've, I've read this book about the psychology of fairy tales for this role, and they do it because it's to be, uh, to help a child identify what they are without their parents. Oh. To like find their own identity without their parents. And I was like, well, this is a really Just, intense way of doing that. Well, like, <laughs> drove me away from mine because I wouldn't speak to mom for about three weeks oh, after dear. he took me to Bambi. I had trouble with Fievel. Do you remember the oh, American story? God, and he gets separated oh. from his parents and he's just such a little mouse and. And it was terrible. Oh. I know, we're really <laughs> bumming you out, aren't we? And we're talking about fairy tales. <laughs> If you got to pick mm -hmm. and you could be any character, you know, whether you it was when you were a little kid or today, who would you have picked out of like fairy tales? I probably would have picked Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And interestingly, as much as I, Emma Swan really is a new creation and she is a new fairy tale, yeah. she feels a lot like Alice in Wonderland to me this year because yeah. I've kind of gone down the rabbit hole. Exactly. Everything's changed, everything's different. You know, one moment she's in, you know, climbing a giant thing and the next moment she's sorting with, fighting with swords and, you know, so um, it Makes does. Makes it fun to go to work though, huh? It does. Really and the does. costumes seem so cool. The, the costumes are part of the character, but they're almost a character of, in yeah. and of themselves, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, uh, Eduardo, who's our costume designer, is just extraordinary. It, it, oh, yeah. stuff's extraordinary. Yeah, it's, and I wish you could see it up close because it's like art. I mean, the blue dress is Cinderella's gown, and uh, the white dress is a wedding gown from the show, and then there's the famous red jacket, of course, and the armor I'm wearing is actually Prince Charming's armor. It looks um, good on you. Thank you. Yes, it's, it does. Um, I might be inclined to wear that out in public, or maybe <laughs> even out to dinner, but this sword would probably get you arrested on the streets of New York. Yeah, right? well, you know, for Halloween, maybe. Yeah, maybe we could get away with yeah. it for that night. You can yeah. loan me the sword, but I think you look better in the, in the Prince Charming outfit. Oh, I don't tonight, know. Right? I think you could rock it. I think you could <laughs> totally rock it. it up. Yeah, exactly. Go halfsies. Really we have mix it up. We bamboo swords. We'll send you a bamboo sword. <laughs> She's going to train me on the bamboo. I love it.